Well, one way to think about this is to remember the rules for function calls. You take the function body and you evaluate it in the new argument. So the body of say hello is print greeting plus person. And we already know from seeing it in the interpreter what it's going to print out. It's going to print out hello from UP, Gracie. Currently, I don't see Gracie anywhere in this environment. That suggests that we are definitely going to need to add it. Another way to get to that is to remember the other rules for constructing environments. We definitely want to make space for the formal parameters, person, and put in the value of the actual argument, Gracie. So now when we go to evaluate greeting, we don't see it here, but we'll go one up and get hello from UP. And we'll try to find person. We see it right here. We get Gracie. We'll compose them together and print out exactly the same behavior we saw in the interpreter. This quiz was pretty tricky. This notion of nested procedures does not come up very often in Python. But if we want a complete interpreter, one that understands all the nuances of a language, then we have to handle this. It's kind of like the subjunctive in a lot of Romance languages. It doesn't come up very often in English, may come up more often than you'd think in other places.